So we all know listings have been really tight over the last three to four months. Question I've got for you, what are your degrees of separation right now? One thing I wanna talk about degrees of separation, and I've mentioned in a couple of videos before, is social media. You see, social media is playing such a new playing field today that if you're not on it, you're gonna become extinct. You're gonna be like a dinosaur. You see, here's the thing guys, you see this little baby? We've all got one, right? We probably stay with this thing like nearly 24 hours a day. We spend 51% of our time usually just like checking in on Facebook, checking on our emails, checking on our text messages, you know, Instagram, the whole bit. But here's the thing. I don't know if you noticed, but some of the big companies today, they're shifting from TV advertising and moving more towards Facebook ads. Why? Because they're realizing that we are spending more time here. I was talking to an IT geek the other day, he builds websites. And he was just saying to me, he said, Claudia, he said, you know what? He said, if you're not building today your website to be mobile friendly, he goes, you're out of the game. He said, we spend more times on our mobile phones than we actually spend on our laptops or computers in the day. And as a real estate agent, you think about that. We're on our phone all day. We're at an open home, we're just flicking through. So here's the thing, how can you start to separate yourself in this market where you need to win more listings? I've got a couple of clients of mine right now who are talking about their social media strategies in listing presentations. Are you talking about social media? Or are you this type of person that's sort of going, head in the sand, that's not me, that's what I'm gonna do. I was listening to uh, Gary Vaynerchuk and, and he was putting out a great video about like sometimes old people will say, you know, I'm too old for this or whatever else. But you know what? He actually said, he said, so let me ask you this, when you know that thing that's got four tires and you drive it sometimes? And this person said, yes. And he goes, did you figure how to drive that out? He goes, yes. He goes, we need to figure out how to drive with social media. And it's so true. Sometimes we get our head in the center going, it's too hard. It's not too hard. We just got to learn. And some of the top agents right now are starting to spend over an hour a day on their social media and starting to generate leads. I mean, just for my business, for instance, I'm like putting a post out every day. You've got Agent Republic, you've got Claudio Encina, Coach Claudio. I'm pushing so much more content out there every day. Why? Because I'm everywhere. I want people to recognize me. I had a call from a client on Friday. He rang me up and he said, Claudio, I'm looking for someone to come in and train our team doing some sessions, etc. And I said, oh, how did you hear about me? He said, I see you on Facebook. And I looked at this guy's name. He's never once pressed like or never made a comment. But he's seen me on Facebook consistently. You see, guys, this is the thing. If you're gonna be successful next year in 2017, you better have a social media strategy in your business plan. Because if you don't, you're gonna be left behind. I'm still amazed, some agents who are dominating in the letterbox drops, on like realestate.com ads and whatever else, they haven't touched into their social media. This is your opportunity right now, if you haven't done it, to do so. The more you get in front of someone else, like ahead of someone else, your competition, the more people are gonna start driving towards you and hear about you. I'm saying to some people, it's like, you have gotta know your cost per lead in your business today. Know your cost per lead meaning that you know, how much does it cost you for a letterbox drop each year? How many leads do you get from that? How much does it cost for you to go on realestate.com.au and put an ad in a suburb? And how many leads do you get from that? You see, I've got some guys who are doing Facebook ads right now, and you can specifically target the demographic, the type of person, the age group, your ideal client that you want. So when they're looking at 51% of their time in the day on their phone and they're flicking through Facebook, you come through the newsfeed because you've directly targeted them. I'm saying to some agents today, you've got to spend around 400 to 500 a month on Facebook ads. This is the way it's going. Toyota, the big companies, Budweiser, have basically now, they were spending like $90 billion a year, the big, the big companies, the blue chip companies, on television advertising. You know what they've done? Nine tenths of that now has gone into digital and social media. Why? Because today, if you want to watch a program, like I watch sometimes some TV, I hit on Netflix, I watch TV on my terms, except if it's live sport, right? If it's a live game, a football going on, I'll watch that live because you can't put that on pause, right? But here it is. People are now like taking control of this. This is the new remote control. Question is, are you on there? Are you on their remote control? Are you on their TV? So 
2017 is a big year for social media strategy. Agents in your marketplace are using that strategy in their listing presentations. So let's level up, think about it. Don't be the guy with the head in the sand going, it's not for me. That was me about two years ago. Eh, ain't for me anymore. I'm pushing it more and more. And 2017 for me is gonna be up-leveling my social media. Are you gonna be doing the same?